The title of my talk is The Rule of the Human-Animal Interface in the Zoonosis. So um, the interface between human health and animal health is becoming more and more important because of the introduction of uh, one health approach. And also, um, we have uh, some new uh, idea and new uh, perspective uh, due to the penetration of human in the animal ecology ecosystem and also the climate changes, socio-cultural changes, ecological changes uh, due uh, mainly to the deforestation for uh, economic, uh, economic uh, uh, reason in, uh, in, uh, in Africa. As you see here, the contact between human and, and uh, animals uh, during the butchering of, uh, of uh, bushmeat, it is very frequent in, uh, in Africa. And also, accidentally, you can see this kind of, uh, of uh, bites. Uh, this uh, hunter was, bite, was bitten by, uh, uh, by non-human primate, the monkeys, as you can see on your left. So, um, varimologic fever are the most emerging infection uh, in Africa in terms of uh, morbidity and mortality. So we have uh, Ebola, Ebola virus is circulating in the, the country of, uh, of Congo and, uh, and Nile Basin, mostly in Congo, DRC, in the Republic of Congo, in Gabon, um, Uganda also, and now uh, the virus is also uh, circulating in, uh, in West African countries. And we have uh, marble virus, marble virus uh, mainly in, uh, in Angola, South Africa, uh, Kenya, uh, Kenya, DRC, uh, Sudan, and Uganda. And um, uh, Congo hemorrhagic, uh, Congo Crimean hemorrhagic fever is circulating uh, uh, ev everywhere, everywhere you can see from the west to the east and to the south uh, of, uh, of Africa. Um, yeah, and Lassa, Lassa fever, Lassa fever virus is, a, is a endemic, um, mainly in uh, Western Africa. And now, we, we, as you know, uh, there is a, uh, uh, ongoing uh, outbreak of uh, Lassa fever in uh, Nigeria. And uh, so human health is intimately uh, connected to the animal and environmental health. According to the WHO, uh, more than 70% of human diseases have an animal origin. So they, call, uh, they are called zoonosis. Due to socioeconomic, environmental and ecological factors. Most of African countries constitute an emerging infectious disease hotspot. So I wish to talk about Ebola and monkeypox viruses because the two pathogens are able to infect both human and non-human primates with high case fatality rate. So, um, I divide my presentation in two parts. Uh, first, I will talk about Ebola virus disease uh, in Africa, and then uh, I will talk about human monkeypox infection. So, uh, Ebola virus. Ebola virus belongs to the family of uh, Filoviridae. This family contains uh, the, gen generous, the, genus, uh, the following genus. Uh, genus marble virus, genus Ebola virus, and genus quiver virus. 
uh, genus Ebola virus uh, have, has uh, five uh, species called a Thai forest virus, uh, Reston virus, Sudan virus, species Zaire, and species Bundi Bugyu. Um, the most virulent so far of these species are the most virulent is uh, Ebola Zaire, hmm? uh, with a case fatality rate of more than 80%. Uh, and the virulence also depends on the mode of, uh, of contamination. Um, if the infection occurs by injection, like uh, in Yambuku in 1976, then the, period, the incubation period is short and lethality rate is high, very high. But if the infection is uh, acquired by uh, contact, the incubation period will be more or less uh, long and lethality rate is lower. The, but I think um, if we compare with uh, what happened in the West uh, African outbreak in, in 2014, uh, um, Ebola Zaire was the, the etiological agent of this outbreak. But at that time, we thought that the, the strain was more virulent than the usual strain that occurred in the RC. Um, but if we say uh, uh, the problem is not the strain of the virus, because the same virus um, was, uh, was detected in Nigeria, in Senegal, and Mali, um, but it was, uh, the harbor was quickly contained. So I think the most important problem was that the Guinea, Liberia, and Sierra Leone were not prepared. Mm -hmm. And also the community engagement was initiated very late, and also the, the practices of uh, funeral practices, the, the, the traditional uh, funeral practices continue. So, so the context is very important to um, to, uh, to explain why the outbreak of uh, West African countries were, uh, were, were not under control uh, as quickly as possible. Also, the um, Zaire Ebola virus is the main strain um, that is circulating in, uh, in, uh, in Africa. Mm? Most of outbreaks uh, in, in, in Africa, DRC, Congo, Guinea, Gabon, were caused by uh, Ebola Zaire strain. And Ebola Sudan um, was involved in the outbreaks in Sudan and, uh, and Uganda. And uh, Bundibudio Ebola virus, uh, this was um, a new, uh, newly, newly, newly uh, described Ebola virus in, in 2007 in Uganda. Um, is circulating in Uganda and, uh, and, and DRC. So in DRC, we have Ebola Zaire and Ebola Bundibudio uh, uh, that are circulating. And Ebola Sudan, uh, Ebola, uh, uh, Ebola Thai forest, Ebola virus, um, was only uh, detected in a human case in 1994 in, um, in Ivory Coast. And Ebola reson is not a pathogen for is not a pathogen for human, but pathogen for uh, for uh, monkeys and um, and, um, and pigs. The problem of Ebola um, uh, clinically, well, most of um, well. Uh, most of uh, healthcare workers are not familiar with this, uh, this, um, this virus. Mm -hmm. And the disease at the beginning is confused with uh, the common disease we, we have in Africa, like, uh, like malaria, typhoid fever, and shigerosis. So uh, the, the early symptoms are not specific. For, uh, 
for Ebola, like fever, severe uh, uh, headache, myalgia, and, and so on. And um, the, so at the beginning, uh, during the incubation period, the patient is not, cannot, trans, uh, cannot uh, transmit the, the disease. But the infectivity increase with the duration of the disease. Okay. Um, only f uh, f less than 50% of patients infected with Ebola virus will develop hemorrhagic manifestation, like uh, uh, bleeding uh, gum, gums, nose, uh, injection of eyes, and also, um, I can show you, also the, the bleeding at the site of injection, as you can see here and, and there, and hematemesis and so on. So um, you cannot say, okay, I have a case of Ebola only because I have uh, the hemorrhagic uh, manifestation. Uh, okay, for the epidemiology, the, um, the ecology, epidemiology and ecology of, uh, of Ebola, Ebola virus, as you can see on these, uh, these slides, the, the first cases of uh, Ebola occur here in South Sudan, uh, Maridi and Zara, and in Yamuku uh, in 1976. And for uh, Marburg, the marble was isolated um, from um, monkeys uh, in uh, marble in uh, Germany. Um, uh, these monkeys were, were imported from uh, Lake Yoga here in, uh, in, uh, in, Uganda, in Uganda. And also marble was, uh, was uh, detected in the Kitum uh, cave here, and also in DRC, uh, in the gold mine of, uh, of gold mine of uh, Gorumba, uh, here, here. So um, you see this, all this region here, the virus, Ebola virus, and Ebola uh, and marble virus are circulating uh, there, and and um, in the the ceiling of these caves. Uh, uh, is covered by uh, by bats, as you can see here. The the light spot you see there represents the eyes of uh, of uh, the bats. And um, <clears throat> this is the the life cycle of uh, Ebola virus uh, that was described for the first time by CDC. Mm? Uh, so uh, the life cycle uh, is composed of uh, an exotic cycle. This means that the, the, the virus is transmitted from uh, bats to bats, mostly in the caves. And the episodic uh, cycle is mean that the, the infection is transmitted by the healthy, healthy uh, carrier bats to uh, the non-human uh, non primates or uh, other animals. But the, the non-human primate will be infected and develop disease. And it will transmit the disease to, to human. Mostly are, uh, mostly are hunters. Hmm? And hunters is sick and will transmit the disease in the family. Okay, so um, the hypothesis is that, uh, that also was developed by CDC and WHO, um, the hypothesis is that, the, so the healthy carrier uh, uh, bats will uh, go out of the, the cave uh, for food, and um, most of them are the, the fruit bats, and the contaminated uh, uh, and the monkeys, non-human primate, will be contaminated by, by eating the food, the fruit 
contaminated by, uh, by the bats. And so um, the monkey will, will become sick and uh, the, the hunter will, uh, will be in contact with the sick, uh, the sick uh, monkey and become sick and, and, and so on. Maybe also uh, a human can be infected directly by the bats. Okay, so um, in DRC and maybe in other countries in, uh, in, uh, in Africa, um, the contamination occur um, in contact with uh, an infected uh, chimpanzees or uh, gorilla. And also in, 2000, uh, in 2007, uh, we described an outbreak of Ebola uh, associated with the, the migration of, uh, of, uh, uh, of bats, fruit bats, like, like this one. But we don't know exactly how monkey, monkeys or uh, chimpanzees is infected in the, in the forest. But when the infection is introduced in the, in the community, mm -hmm. um, in the hospital, for example, this hospital, with a low standard of hygiene and sanitation, the hospital, the infection will be amplified, amplified because uh, there is shortage of uh, protective equipment, uh, a lack of disinfectant, and healthcare workers are not familiar with uh, Ebola virus, and, uh, and also a lack of infection control uh, policy in most of our African, uh, our African hospitals. And in the family, uh, there is also, in the community, there is also an amplification due to uh, a tra traditional uh, funeral uh, ceremonies uh, in the villages. And so um, the transmission will be from human to human. So the first transmission is zoonotic transmission from the animal to the human. And the second cycle of transmission is the human to human transmission. So um, we are at the NRB in DRC and we, are, we were looking for the, the reservoir of, uh, of, the, of Ebola virus. So since the first Ebola outbreak in Yambuku in 1976, the virus remained a mystery. The virus reservoir remained a mystery. A more multitude of animals studied, bats are the most suspected. Why? But because bats uh, uh, were suspected in the first 1976 Sudan Ebola virus outbreak. Outbreak occurred in a, in a, in a cotton factory in, uh, in Zara, uh, in South Sudan. And in 2007, uh, we described also an outbreak of Ebola associated with uh, the consumption of bats. And also in 2014, West African Ebola outbreak, the index case was a two-year-old boy who was in contact with uh, an insectivorous bat. And of course, uh, because also of similarity between Ebola and Marburg uh, virus. Because it was confirmed that uh, uh, bats are the reservoir of Marburg virus. So um, my country has some um, um, uh, high experience with, um, with uh, Ebola heart outbreaks. We, in total, we have uh, out of 25 uh, Describe Ebola virus in the in the world. Uh, eight were described in uh, in DRC. Uh, so uh, this is the different location of Ebola uh, in, in DRC. And also um, DRC is um, is uh, is pride to to share its its, uh, its expertise with other African countries. In 2014. So we train, we train our colleagues from, um, uh, from uh, Ivory Coast and from Burkina Faso, Mali, and, uh, and, and, so, and so on. 
So it is a very <coughs> example of collaboration, South to South collaboration. And also, um, INRB, my, my institute, um, uh, was, uh, uh, was operating the, the, um, the French Kaplan uh, mobile, mobile lab in, uh, in Guinea. So a team of uh, NRB spent more than, than, than two years in Guinea to operate this, uh, uh, this mobile, mobile lab. And also um, the Congolese government sent more than 10, uh, more than 100 multidisciplinary members uh, of, of consisting of epidemiologists, hygienists, medical doctors, anthropologists, and social mobilization to, um, to Guinea. Uh, in conclusion, Ebola virus outbreaks are more and more uh, moved closer in DRC, and Ebola reservoir still uh, remains still a scientific uh, uh, enigma. And in, the, in, in my lab, in my uh, institution, well, we uh, we study more than uh, more than 25 bat species. Uh, so we have now more than uh, more than two two thousand uh, yeah two thousand uh, sample uh, that are still in progress, but most of them for the moment are uh, are negative. So um, my second part of presentation is uh, human monkeypox infection. Um, the virus is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, uh, is an orthopox virus uh, of the family of poxiviridae. And the source of contamination, of the, of contamination is non-human primates uh, and rodents, mostly sporals and other rat species. But the real uh, reservoir of uh, monkeypox still remains uh, unknown. So uh, human monkeypox is a smallpox-like disease um, that is mainly reported in the rainforests of Central and Western Africa. The first case was detected in Basankusu in DRC in, 19, uh, in 1970. And the transmission uh, was by contact with infected rodent or monkeys or with a patient. But majority of patients were children and the adults uh, who were not vaccinated against, uh, against uh, uh, smallpox. Uh, but the virus was described for the first time um, in, in 1978 in a monkey in the, in the zoo of, uh, in, the Dan in, uh, in Denmark. And uh, in 1970, as I said, uh, the first human monkeypox was uh, discovered. And um, at that time, uh, WHO established um, uh, a program uh, of uh, active surveillance of mon monkeypox to assess the burden of this disease. And, but in 1986, the program ended human monkeypox because human monkeypox was not considered as a threat to the global uh, smallpox eradication initiative um, because it was not uh, proved that uh, uh, monkeypox can be transmitted, um, uh, uh, transmitted from human to, to human for a long period. So it was not a threat for, uh, for public health uh, in, uh, in, in the world. And um, so um, from 1970 to 1986, um, a total of uh, 404 cases of monkeypox uh, were detected, uh, detected, most of them um, from, uh, uh, D D from DRC. But a country like uh, Sierra Leone, two cases, Nigeria, three, Liberia, four, uh, Cote d'Ivoire, two, uh, Republic Centrafricaine, six, and Cameroon, two. But for the moment, I don't know if these countries are still infected, uh, except Nigeria. And uh, in DRC, um, 
1996, there was a major outbreak in Katakakombe with 511 cases. And 70% uh, of them were secondary cases, um, as you can see on this, uh, this uh, slide. And um, most of our health, health zone uh, notified cases of uh, monkeypox. So in DRC, monkeypox, is, monkeypox virus is circulating uh, everywhere, everywhere in the country. So um, the risk factor for children are, are trapping, hunting, handling, uh, death rodent found in the forest. Uh, so the squirrel is particularly the source of monkeypox in young children. Um, also the Gambian rats. Um, okay, so, um, and for adults, adults also trapping and hunting. Uh, the, this, uh, this kind of trap here to, to catch uh, monkeypox and also selling, um, uh, um, selling non-primate, uh, non-human primate. Uh, yeah, because because um, because in in Africa, in my country, for example, um, this uh, the bush meat, uh, the constitute the bush meat. It is very appreciated by uh, by the population. And the clinical manifestation, as, as you can see, uh, it is like like smallpox. Hmm? Like smallpox. This is a fair infection, benign infection and subclinical uh, infection. And the most important is to see the lymphadenopathy uh, in 90% of cases. I will show you later. Um, the, so, so you see here the adenopathy, inguinal adenopathy here, and uh, cervical adenopathy. So this is uh, specific for, uh, for monkeypox. And here we have severe cases uh, of monkeypox in adults. Uh, the complication of monkeypox, you can see a bacterial conjunctivitis, mm, like this, uh, and um, more serious uh, complication, the, the corneal opacity, you can see there. And also uh, mycocutaneous complication of, uh, of monkeypox, monkeypox, as you can see there. So it is a serious disease. Mm. Um, Differential diagnosis um, uh, with, uh, with, uh, uh, with syphilis, secondary syphilis. You have the palm lesion here, it is a syphilis. And here we have um, monkeypox palm lesion. Mm -hmm. um, it is, it is uh, deep, it is, uh, uh, yeah. If you see this kind of, uh, of lesion, you, you cannot, uh, you cannot forget. And also uh, the, the scars, the scars in, uh, in monkeypox are deep and permanent, but in varicella, uh, you know, it is superficial, uh, superficial yeah, as you can also see. So it is very important um, to make the, the, diagnosis, the clinical uh, uh, dif uh, diagnosis, differential diagnosis. Uh, in the patient. In conclusion, uh, so uh, 40 years after the eradication of smallpox, the incidence of human monkeypox infection has dramatically increased in the DRC. Ge the geographic range of monkeypox has changed. A cluster of cases were reported in neighboring uh, Republic of Congo, in South Sudan, and Nigeria for the first and uh, Nigeria for the first time. Okay, it's not the first time. This is for the second time. Okay, uh, even outside the African country, um, um, uh, uh, monkeypox uh, were uh, detected was detected in the U.S. in 2003. And uh, three main factors determine the burden of uh, monkeypox uh, in human monkeypox infection. Um, first is the cessation of uh, vaccination against smallpox. Second is the increased exposure to animal reservoir species. 
and three is increase of human to human uh, transmission. And my general conclusion about the two tropical zoonoses is, is that since the three to four decades, the incidence of both Ebola virus and human monkeypox infection has increased in coincidence with the natural range of their zoonotic reservoir species. For monkeypox, it is coral and other rodent species, and for Ebola, it is the fruit bats. And also increase of contact with the animal reservoir mm, because of the agricultural activities um, by deforestation, by recurrent civil wars, displacement of the population, and also by the increase of poverty. Uh, so bushmeat uh, is, uh, has become the only main sources of animal protein. Okay, thank you very much. So this is my, uh, my institute. Um, we have in charge of outbreak surveillance and, uh, and a response, in charge of diagnostic and uh, applied research. And um, in the future, we will have a very good uh, infrastructure of uh, three uh, P3 laboratories. And also, we will introduce uh, the clinical trial development um, in our institute. So thank you very much for listening to me. Thank you.